if you reset the iPhone, this is going to pop up. Important display message. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Please, you know. Hello, guys. How you doing? This is your friend Alex. Three years ago, I did this video. How to know if your iPhone screen is original or not. I went to the Apple store to buy a new iPhone and I wanted to trade in my old iPhone 8 Plus. When I went to the store, the representative checked the true tone on my screen and he told me that it was missing. That's why he cannot give me any money for it. So based on that experience, I did this video and I said that if you buy an iPhone 8 or up and you don't see the true tone when you click on the brightness, that means the screen is not real or is fake, right? This was three years ago. Now we know that even if you have true tone, your screen can be generic or fake because there is a device called iCopy that would allow you to copy the information from your original screen to the new screen. Seeing true tone on the screen doesn't guarantee 100% that the screen is original, but it will help, you know. Based on that, I wanted to show you this. This is an iPhone 11 and if you go to settings, Look at this important display message unknown part unable to determine if your iphone display is a genuine apple part this could be because the part is non-genuine not functioning as expected or the installation is incomplete you need to go to parts and service history and this is only with iphone 11 and later you will be able to see here and parts and service history displayed and known part with iPhone 11 models and later excluding iPhone SE second and third generation, if the repair was done using genuine Apple parts and process, genuine Apple part will appear next to display. So if you go to general, general, about, and in part and accessory service, you see display and non part. That means this. The display was replaced with a non genuine display, a generic one. The display was already used or installed in another iPhone or it's not functioning as expected. The problem we have is that Apple does not sell displays or screens to the public. You can only guarantee that you have a genuine Apple screen if you go to the Apple store or if you change the display in an authorized service center like Best Buy or any other company that is authorized by Apple to use Apple genuine parts. People, they replace the screen and they use the information from the old screen. They pass it to the new screen using a tool called iCopy, but a technician needs to do that. It's not that easy. You can see here that the iPhone 11 has 625 nits max brightness and the iPhone 12 it has the same, but it has 1200 nits peak brightness. So they are different displays, guys. So we cannot compare both because they are not the same phone. Now let's compare it with the iPhone 6S. If I choose this, I don't think you're going to notice, guys. And of course, the iPhone 6S does not have True Tone because True Tone is iPhone 8 and later. This is an iPhone SE third generation, and this one has True Tone. Let me know in the comments if you think that this iPhone has more brightness than this one. In my opinion, they are pretty much the same, guys. So, because when you restore the phone, it's going to tell you right away. So I'm going to have to reset the phone so you can see, guys, what I'm talking about. Continue, erase iPhone. This is going to restore the iPhone as a factory reset or if it's brand new, you know. Continue. Welcome to iPhone. And now look at this, guys. Look at this. If you reset the iPhone, this is going to pop up. Important display message. Unable to determine if your iPhone display is a genuine Apple part. Go to settings for more information. So if you go to settings, it will tell you a non part. Okay. This message is kind of annoying, right? And it's going to appear every time you reset the iPhone. They always recommend to check the screen, you know, the borders. Because when they replace the screen, they usually leave marks. You know, if there's somebody that doesn't know how to do it, it's going to leave marks around here. So always make sure that the display is really good on the sizes, you know. So let me turn this on. This is the only thing. Yeah, I can see some kind of shadowing here, guys. I don't know if you see them. I don't know if you can see any shadowing here on the borders. This one looks more like there's no shadow or nothing. I'm talking about this part, guys. This part. Let me know if you see some shadowing on the left. I don't see shadowing on the right. Okay. But in terms of the brightness, they're pretty much the same. So to summarize, guys, whenever you buy an iPhone 8 and up, I want you to check this, the brightness. This one has true tone. This one doesn't have true tone. So that's something that is important, guys. You need to have true tone. Now, that doesn't mean that this screen is fake. Maybe it's original from another iPhone and they just put it here, but they didn't move the information. So that's why you don't see the true tone. But this is kind of a red flag, you know? And of course, 
you can see if you go to parts and service history display and non part this is pretty much telling you that apple doesn't recognize this display because this is the thing guys let me show you this with iphone 11 and later excluding iphone se second and third generation using ios 15.2 or later you can go to settings general about for the parts and service history of your iphone you can also find out if the display has been replaced if the repair was done using genuine Apple parts and processes, genuine Apple part will appear next to display, okay? And this is what is showing it here. Look, display, genuine Apple part. So that means that the display has been replaced, but with a genuine Apple part, either at the Apple store or an authorized service center, okay? You will know. You still know that it was replaced, but you know that they use a genuine Apple part. Now, when you go here and on display, you don't see genuine Apple part and you see a known part, that means that either it's not not genuine it's not functioning as expected or the installation is incomplete we still don't know for sure if this display is generic not original or not but i can tell you that the bleeding or the shadowing is making me think about this display i think it's not original you can see it right there all right guys that concludes our video on how to know if your screen is real original is being replaced with a genuine part or not genuine part that should give you an idea but we cannot know for sure 100 percent. so that's the conclusion we don't know for sure 100 percent but we are suspicious you know every time you click on the brightness and you don't see true tone you should be suspicious all right guys thank you so much for watching this video this is your friend alex i hope you had a great day and see you on my next video take care don't forget to subscribe guys please you know